Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to download and install the better PvP mod in Minecraft 1.13.2. This is, I mean, exactly what it says. It's a better PvP mod. It's got a minimap interface. It's got like a quick use thing that allows you to like bind things to certain keys and stuff. It's got better sprinting, toggle, sneak, all sorts of awesome stuff that just makes PvP better. It even shows you stuff like, you know, armor and things like that on screen. So it's kind of like armor GUI as well. So pretty cool stuff there. There is a full mod and a fair play version. Basically fair play version means it won't give you tons of like stuff that's like banned on most servers, whereas the full mod will. We're going to go ahead and do the full mod today, but you can use whichever version you want. But first, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown xyz slash apex to get an awesome 24-hour ddos pick in minecraft server for just a few bucks a month we have apex so much that we actually host our own server on them play.breakdowncraft.com so again you can check out apex at the first link down below the breakdown xyz slash apex to get an awesome 24-hour ddos pick to server for just a few bucks a month nevertheless let's go ahead and jump right on into this so the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below and that will take you here this is the better pvp mod download page we scroll down to the bottom we do have this download full mod button go ahead and click on that where it will take us off to where we can select the 1.13.2 version. As you can see, 1.13.2. Scroll over, and then we want to click on this mirror. See that little mirror, like blue mirror link there? Click on that, and it will go ahead and open up the download. Now, if you're on Google Chrome, it'll open up in the bottom left. However, on Mozilla Firefox, it'll open in the center of your screen. As long as it starts with better and ends in .jar, we can save the file on Mozilla Firefox. On Google Chrome, in the bottom left, if it starts with better and it ends in .jar, we can go ahead and keep the file. Again, that's in bottom left on Google Chrome. However, we can go ahead and save it on Mozilla Firefox. Now we can go ahead and move on to Forge. You do need Forge to run this mod and use better PvP, so let's go ahead and get Forge. You can find this link. It's the third link in the description down below. And this is our in-depth guide on Forge and how to download and install Forge in Minecraft. However, I'm going to be showing you that in this video, so once you're here, you just want to click on this green download button here. So once you've clicked on that green download button, it takes us to here. This is Forge's official website where we want to make sure that the 1.13.2 version is selected. You can double check that by clicking over here on the left side on 1.13 and making sure 1.13.2 is bold. It should also say MC 1.13.2 right there. Once it does, you can go ahead and click on the installer button under download latest and it will take us off to add focus. Now add focus has been a little weird recently. Usually you would just wait and in the top right, you would wait five seconds and it would go ahead and start the download. However, I've been having this issue where it's been doing some pop-ups and stuff like that. If it does that, just make sure you are on the add focus page here. Don't click anything on this page right nothing on this page at all your download is not ready it is lying to you all you want to do is wait five seconds and then the top right click that red skip button once you click on that it will open up this pop-up right like so on Mozilla Firefox on Google Chrome it's gonna be in the bottom left as long as it starts with forge and ends in dot jar you're good to save the file on Mozilla Firefox on Google Chrome in the bottom left as long as it starts with forge and ends with dot jar you're good to keep the file on Google Chrome so we're gonna save it on Mozilla Firefox on Google Chrome we click keep in the bottom left now we minimize our browser here on our desktop we have two things we have the better pvp mod we downloaded and we have forge if these aren't on your desktop no worries just click on the little windows icon it's in the top left for me it's in the bottom left of your screen that little windows icon there click on that and then type in downloads right like so you'll have a downloads folder here which you can click on and then you can take forge and better pvp from your downloads folder and drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we're going to be starting with Forge. So go ahead and right click on it. Go to Open With right here. And then you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. If you don't, or if you do and click OK and it doesn't work, then I have solutions for you. If you don't have it at all, or even if you do and it doesn't work, you need to download Java first. You can find this link in the description down below. Come here, go through this tutorial, and it will show you how to get the correct version of Java, get it downloaded, all of that. If you do that and it still doesn't work, you need to run the Jar Fix, which is a, just a quick and easy program that sets the jar files to work correctly with Java and it can come here and, and download it and it goes through everything there. So there is that. Once you've ran that, you will finally be able to right click on Forge, select Open With, and then select Java TM Platform SE Binary and click OK. Now we'll go ahead and open up the Forge mod installer here where you then want to click on Install Client and click OK. It'll then go through, get everything 
done rocking and rolling and wait for it. There we go. It is now successfully installed Client Profile Forge. If that doesn't come up, if you don't get a success message, it is most likely because you haven't played Minecraft 1.13.2 vanilla, meaning no mods installed, nothing at all. So you want to make sure you go play Minecraft 1.13.2 with no mods or anything, come back, and then Forge will install. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and click OK, and now we need to get better PvP installed. Doing this is very simple. Again, we want to click on that Windows icon. It's in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon there. Click on that and this time we want to type in run, R-U-N. That will bring up the run desktop app here. I want to go ahead and open that and in the run desktop app we want to type percent APP DATA percent percent sign app data percent sign and then click OK. It'll then open up the roaming folder here where you should have a dot Minecraft folder and in your dot Minecraft folder you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Well, don't freak out. It's okay. All you want to do is right click and create a new folder, title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that, and then open up your newly created mods folder. Now take better PVP and drag it into your mods folder, and it's as simple as that. It's now installed. However, don't just jump into Minecraft and click play. You need to open up the Minecraft launcher and make sure you select the correct profile. To do this, you want to go right here next to the play button, that little green arrow next to the play button. Click on that, and then you want to click on Forge right there. See that? Click that and click play. Now, if you don't have Forge, what do you do? Well, click on the three lines up here in the top right, and it'll drop this drop down menu here. Click on launch options, and then you want to find the add new button, which is right here. Go ahead and click on that, right like so. And then you need to name your newly created configuration or profile, as I call them. You can name this whatever. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I doing that? Oh yeah, because this is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com, 1.13.2, grief protected survival, factions coming May 1st, incredible custom skyblock, whatever you're looking for, we have it. Come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Next to version here, go ahead and click on that. And then in here, you should have the release 1.13.2-Forge. If you have multiple ones, just pick the one with the highest number at the end. So we have 1.13.2-Forge there. Click on that. I'm going to change my resolution. You don't have to do that, but I'm just doing it so you'll be able to see once we're in game. Then we can go ahead and click save. Now we want to go back over to the news tab here. Click that little green arrow next to the play button. This time we want to select the play.breakdowncraft.com profile there. Make sure under the play button it says 1.13.2-Forge, which it does, and we can go ahead and click play. It'll now open up Minecraft 1.13.2 with Forge installed, but most importantly, better PvP installed. An incredible mod that, well, will help you in PvP. Pretty simple stuff there. So let's go ahead, let the Minecraft main menu up, load up, and I'll see you once we get there. There we are. We are now on the Minecraft main menu. We can click on the mods tab here, and we will be able to see the better PvP mod. Pretty simple stuff. We can also jump into game real quick. I'm just going to jump into single player. I don't think we'll have any issues joining this world, but we might sometimes if I've tested mods in a world before, it doesn't let me join back in, but looks like we're good on this one. So once we join on in here, I'll be able to show you that this is in fact installed. Most importantly, it does have a uh, mini map over here in the top right, but also I believe if we throw some armor on real quick, diamond armor, let's say, just throw some of these on. It will display those in like a HUD type format. Yep, as you can see, we do have those right down here. There's the pants, there's the armor, and all of that stuff. I think if you also can hit some players and you'll get like a, you know, like thing that pops up like health and stuff. So there's tons of options and uh, I don't think there's any denying that this is in fact installed. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I am more than happy to help you out. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Give this video a thumbs up if it helps. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content and come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Anyway, that was a long outro. I am out. Peace.